She is well traveled and well learned and she's ready to take Nollywood by storm. Mega Tanwa is our celebrity guest this week. Hey guys, it's your girl Meg Otangwa. I'm an actress and I'm happy to be here. What is it? Oh, don't worry, you'll find out. Let's go. I can't see. Don't worry, I'll guide you. No peeking. Okay. No peeking. Okay. Right there. Okay. This is Tokwe. Remember her? Uh, she's the manager from the restaurant. No, 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 we've not started anything. <laughs> I told her we had to wait for you. <laughs> Aisha. Mega Tangwa is an actress. She is a happy-go-lucky kind of person. Pretty chilled, pretty laid back. Um, I love life. I love people, I love kids. I love, I'm very inquisitive, so I love to learn. I love to just, you know, just learn different stuff every day, no matter what it is. As long as it's new, as long as it's something that is new to me, I like to learn it. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about life. I'm passionate about people. I'm passionate about the world around me. Sheriff, what happened in Brazil was a mistake, and now you think... So what? Is this not better than me running around out there? I don't have time for this. So you better grow up and get back in there. No. What did you say to me? Ki how can me? Kware. Nahuka. And if you think for a second that you can control me because of your father's bloody money, then you must be crazy as well. Yes, Sheriff. You might have all the money to buy fancy things and pay for fancy trips. You might even be able to afford several wives and concubines. But we'll love you to lie. You will never be able to control Aisha Sarato. You go to fucking hell, Sheriff. You know, you were never really good enough in bed to handle one woman. I don't know what gave you this stupid idea you could handle too. Let's well, acting, I've, it's just something that I've always been fascinated by. Um, grind, acting as a child was basically in church, like Christmas drama, um, Easter church plays and all of that. But like, you know, professional acting, also anything near professional acting for me started in the university, um, where I did my first degree. I did my first degree in Amendola University, Zaria. And then I was um, approached by a director or student who wanted me to, um, he wanted to prove a point to his lecturers that he could make, he could work with non-actors or non-acting students and just make you know actors of them out of them and um he went for like people who were really really uh, reserved and not outspoken at all because back in uni i was really quiet and very shy and you know um yeah so that was my first taste and it was theater you know how theater is very you know very gruesome very challenging i would say and i completely fell in love with it every project that i've done came with its own challenges you know but i i reckon that the farther away the characters are from who i am as a person the more exciting you know it is for me to play them i i can't explain it so like um, the TV series I did called Retreat where I played this character that is somewhat of a sociopath. Wow. And I completely, completely, completely enjoyed playing, playing um, Barbara, that's, that's the name of the character. So they've all been really, you know, challenging in their own ways and exciting. I did not know what they were planning to do. But now you sent me to them. I want to know everything. I really want to know the truth. I want to know everything. I know, I, but I don't know. Then tell me the one you know. It, was, it wasn't my idea. It wasn't, it was the erotic book coach. We didn't tell you. He said, uh, 
that there was this tournament and they uh, and they wanted f female players because the NGO who, who was sponsoring said they want, wanted women. But you know these things now. Then tell you where then the carriers go. I just said it now, now. You know I take come back what do? You know it's in the want me can do. But wait, but wait, but wait, come here, we talk about it. Hey! Nollywood is an evolving industry. You know, um, we're definitely not where we used to be four or five years ago. We've grown so much and we are still growing. And I just feel like, you know, we Nollywood has so much to offer to the world. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see where the industry will be in like four years. I think we're going to be doing amazing things. And as it is, we're already competing on the, on the international scale. So it's pretty, it's, I mean, it's, it's a pretty exciting time to be in the industry, really. Um, because this is the time when so many things are taking shape. Honestly, um, right now, I just want to work. You know, I just want to do meaningful projects. Um, hopefully, one of those projects will take me there. But I think my, my major concern right now is conquering Africa. You know, I feel like I have so much to offer and I want, the whole, I want to see the whole of Africa. I want to represent the whole of Africa and I want Africa to see me. You know, I'm not the... We'll get, when we get to that <laughs> bridge, we'll cross it. But for now, I think my focus is in Nigeria and Africa. I'm currently just um, we're about to wrap a movie called Goza. Um, Goza is a story around um, girl child education and the issues of insurgency in the north. And it's one project that is very close to my heart and I can't, I can't wait for uh, you know, people to get to see it. It's gonna be out later this year. You know, and then I have like, you know, obviously retreats, which is a TV series is still showing on TV. Hush is also still showing on TV. And uh, another movie with I shot sometime last year is going to be out sometime soon. It's called Ratnik. It's a very interesting movie because it's it's um, it's set in the future. Honestly, I, I well, I'm from I'm from the middle be belt. I'm from Benue State, so that's North Central. So people just. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I look like a core northerner. I feel like people just, if they're looking for a northern car, like, oh, man. Like, okay, it works. I'm working, so it's fine. Um, but funny enough, I've been able to play, you know, characters from different places as well. Um, uh, in, in Hosh, for example, I get to play a Yoruba character. In, um, in Ratnik, uh, Ratnik, I think, yeah, Ratnik also gets to play a Yoruba character. Um, the team, I played the character from the South. Yes, yeah, so I don't, I don't think, I, I think I've been lucky, I've been lucky. I've done quite a few, you know, Northern um, characters, but I get to play, you know, people. I don't think I've been stereotyped. My hope for the film industry is, you know, for the industry to get to that point where it's, um, it's self-sufficient, you know for things to grow to a point where there's a structure in place where the industry can function without external interference. You know, because I think this would go a long way in putting things in place. The industry runs itself, it will put, things would be that there will be a proper, you know, because right now I just feel like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of interference for me, I, I feel, I honestly believe that we are all here for a great, greater purpose. I want to be known for, um, I want, I want, I want, I want a, a life that, that impacts people, that my story, my journey, my work, that it affects people positively positively no matter what they take from me no matter how little it is they're able to take from me there's something positive so that is the kind of life i want to live be it my work be it my life be it my story i want it to have like a positive impact on people i told you that it's over it's done what exactly are you going to do when you get married to him and he goes out there looking for what he thinks you don't have you don't trust me and what the hell is wrong with you when he begins to get attracted to me i'll have sex with him throw him out of my bed and in the day because the case of these days Head. What are you saying, Sasha? Just sit here and do nothing about this. Tell us all enough to take care of ourselves. No, the girl is stupid when she's in love. 
Hey guys, my name is Meg Otangwa. You're watching On The Town on TVC News Nigeria. Keep it locked.